Hi, I'm Kaname. Today I'm going to talk about the verb ageru and kureru. First, how to use ageru. Ageru is used when you yourself give something to someone. For example, if I give this pen to you, I give you this pen, I can say pen o ageru. Usually, the subject of ageru is I, watashi, so you don't need to mention watashi here. I give you this pen, you don't have to say watashi wa anata ni pen o ageru. It's not wrong, but people usually don't say that. Ageru is a very subjective term, so you cannot freely use it as give. She gave me a pen. You cannot say, 彼女 wa watashi ni pen o agemashita. Usually, the basic is that when you use the verb ageru, it's usually you yourself is the subject. 父に新しい時計をあげました。母に誕生日プレゼントをあげました。The same thing can be said when you attach this verb ageru on a verb. You can attach ageru on the form of a verb. 飲んであげる、食べてあげる、書いてあげる。So let's take a look at what is the meaning of tabete ageru. For example, if I say keiki o tabete ageru, what does it mean? Let's compare. I can say watashi wa keiki o tabemashita. Or I can say watashi wa keiki o tabete agemashita. What is the difference? If I use te agemashita, te ageru, it sounds like I did it. For someone, for the sake of someone. For example, in a situation, say, if I was having dinner with you, but you don't like to eat, for example, mushrooms, but the plate you ordered had a lot of mushrooms, and you feel bad if you leave it. Oh, there's so many mushrooms, but I don't like to eat them. Well, in this situation, well then, I eat them for you. Well, in this situation, I can say, Kinoko tabete ageru. What I'm saying is, this action of eating mushroom is for you. I do it for you, for the sake of you. So that is the indication of te ageru. If I say, non de ageru, it sounds like I drink something for you. I drink it all for you. Wa, kono kohi oishiku nai. Ah, iyo, ore non de ageru? Ah, tsukareta. Demo, mada mada yaru koto aru. Ato, kuruma arawa na kya ike nai shi. Heya soji shi na kya ike nai shi. Ah, tsukareta. Ah, ore jikan aru kara tetsudatte ageru yo. Ore kawari ni kuruma aratte ageru. So, when I say te ageru, it sounds like I give some service to you. I give you this action. I give you this action of washing. I give you my action of helping. I give you this. So that is the implication of te ageru. But when you use ageru in question form, for example, agemasu ka, agemashita ka, then the subject naturally becomes you. Because I'm asking you, so it's more likely I'm asking about you. Did you? Did you give something to someone? Tanaka san ni omiyage agemashita ka? Iye, mada agete masen. Shacho no tanjoubi nani o agemasu ka? Many Japanese learners get confused because many Japanese people, when they use the verb like ageru, they don't mention subject. They sometimes they don't even need to mention the person they give something to. For example, if I say, I give you something, I give you this pen. In this situation, usually, when you say, I give you something, you don't need to mention I nor you. I can just say, Kono pen, ageru? That's fine. Kono hasami, ageru? And in Japanese, you can mention the thing you give as the topic of the sentence. For example, I can mention these scissors as the topic. Kono hasami, anata ni ageru? Kono hasami, ashita tanaka san ni ageru tsumori desu. Because when I use the verb ageru, it is obvious that the subject is watashi, so I don't have to say watashi wa, watashi wa. So I can just mention the object as the topic. Kono hasami ageru? Kono fude ageru ka? Moshi nihongo no benkyo o tetsudatte kuretara, kono denchi agemasu yo. But there's one thing you should note. When you talk very politely and when you talk to someone who is superior than you, then you usually don't use ageru when you give the person something. 
For example, if I give my boss something. 社長、このペンあげます。It sounds a little bit rude. When you give something to someone who is superior than you, you should avoid using the word あげます usually. It's not very impolite, but it just sounds slightly impolite. So, in this situation, when you want to give someone who is superior something, then you use 差し上げる instead of using あげる。これ、差し上げます。It sounds very polite. Then, how about when someone else gives something to someone else? 田中さんは吉田さんにペンをあげました。Is that incorrect? It's correct. You can use あげる when someone else gives something to someone else. It is not, it's incorrect. But since the word あげる has this subjective feeling, so in many situations, people don't use あげる when someone else gives something to someone. It's not that they don't use it, but they rarely use it. Then how do you say, for example, when Tanaka gave Kimura a present? Well, you use different verbs. So if what someone gave was a gift, then use this verb, present する。田中さんは木村さんに腕時計をプレゼントしました。It sounds more natural than saying, Tanaka san wa Kimura san ni ude doke o agemashita. As I said, agemashita has a subjective feeling. So if I say, Tanaka san wa Kimura san ni ude doke o agemashita, it sounds like I'm talking about this thing through the lens of Tanaka. I'm talking it from the perspective of Tanaka. I'm talking as if I mentioned Tanaka as the first person. If I mention Tanaka as a main character of this narrative, then it is totally fine to say Tanaka wa nani nani ni agemashita. But in real life, when you just want to say someone gave some, something someone, then you use different word than ageru. If Tanaka handed something to someone, Tanaka san wa kono hard drive wo handed. Well, in this situation, you can use the verb watasu. 田中さんは森さんにハードドライブを渡しました。If 田中 bought Yamada a whiskey, then you say, 田中さんは山田さんにウイスキーを買いました。There are many other words that can replace あげる。So one thing you should remember is you can still use あげる when someone gave something to someone, but in many situations, Japanese people would choose Other words than あげる to say give. What about the verb くれる？くれる is used when someone gave you something. When you say くれる it has a feeling that this object someone gave is approaching to me. Tanaka gave me this pen, which means this pen wasn't here, but because Tanaka gave me, now this pen is close to me. Tanaka gave me this pen. It's like come in English. When someone came to your place, you use the verb come instead of saying go. Tanaka went here. Sounds weird. But you say Tanaka came here, right? Kureru is like come. When the object came to your place, then you say kureru. But if the object is going away from you, you don't use kureru. In this situation, you use ageru. So, when you yourself give something to someone, you wouldn't use kureru. Just like when someone left you, you don't use the verb come. Same. Tanaka was here, Tanaka went somewhere else. In this situation, I don't say Tanaka came to someone else. You use the word go, Tanaka went to someone else. Same. So, kureru is like come. Tanaka san wa watashi ni kono hon o kuremashita. When you use kureru to ask question, then the person who received the thing is you. Second person. Tanaka san tanjobi ni nani o kuremashita ka? When I say Tanaka san tanjobi ni nani o kuremashita ka, that means what did Tanaka g a v e you on your birthday? That don't get confused. When you use the verb kureru to ask question, then the subject who gave present Is not you. Who gave present to you is someone else, but who received the present is you. So if I say, Tanaka san wa tanjobi ni nani o kuremashita ka, I'm asking you 
What did you get? What Tanaka gave you? You can answer by saying, Tanaka san wa mafura o kuremashita. Because it is obvious that when you say kuremasu, receiver is you. You received it. So you don't have to say, Tanaka san wa mafura o watashi ni kuremashita. You don't have to mention watashi ni here because it is obvious when you use the verb kureru. ねえ、翔太くんのおじいちゃん、お年玉いくらくれたあ、おじいちゃん、お年玉1万円くれたよ。The same as あげる、くれる also can be attached on verb, the form of a verb. You can say, 食べてくれる、飲んでくれる、話してくれる、教えてくれる。If I say, 食べてくれる、it sounds like someone ate something for me. I didn't want to eat this fish, but Tanaka ate this fish for me. Tanaka san ga sakana o tabete kuremashita. Tanaka helped me to do the homework. Tanaka san wa shukudai o tetsudatte kuremashita. So here I want to put emphasis on this. This te kureru is a very important grammar in Japanese. It's more important than te ageru because in real life situation we very often use this te kureru. In some situations, if you don't use it, it sounds weird. When someone did something for you, then you got to use this te kureru. For example, if you want to say, my mom taught me English, then you got to say, o k a s a n ga ego o o s i e t e kuremashita. In this situation, just saying, o k a s a n ga watashi ni ego o o s i e t e m a s h i t a sounds very weird. This sentence is not wrong, but it sounds weird to Japanese people's ear. So here's one point. When you want to say someone did something for you, oh, she taught me something, she gave me something, she helped me something, in those situations, you got to use te kureru to mention the event. 私、幼い時に父が他界して、今までお母さん一人でずっと育ててくれたの。だから私、お母さんにすごく感謝してる。俺のおじいちゃん、ちっちゃい頃ずっと俺のことを可愛がってくれた。When you use くれる、you can also show gratitude toward the action of someone else.When someone else did something for you and you are thankful, you can express the gratitude that you have using the verb くれる。When someone helped you something, 手伝ってくれました。By saying くれる、I can express my gratitude. I'm also very grateful that someone helped me. 田中さん、仕事忙しいのに僕の引っ越し手伝ってくれた。In other words, when someone did something for you, in the situation if you don't use くれる、it sounds weird and it sounds like you are not grateful for what someone did to you. Say, 田中 taught you how to play piano. If you just say, Tanaka san wa watashi ni piano o osie mashita. It's grammatically correct, but it sounds like you don't care if he taught you how to play piano or not. You don't feel any gratitude toward Tanaka teaching you piano. And it sounds very cold. And it sounds weird. So when Tanaka taught you piano, you got to say, Tanaka san wa piano o osie te kure mashita. Otherwise, it sounds weird. ね、今仕事何やってんの今貿易会社で働いてる。すごい給料いいんだ。この仕事を田中さんが紹介してくれたんだ。You can also use くれる when someone gave someone something, not you.When the person who received something was one of your people, you can use くれる。For example, 田中 gave my daughter a gift. My daughter is one of my own people, and I'm also very grateful that Tanaka gave my daughter the gift. So, in this situation, I would use kureru even though I myself is not my daughter, but I can use kureru here anyway. Tanaka san wa musume ni presento o kuremashita. For example, your parents is also one of your own people, your family member. So, when someone gave your present a gift, you are also grateful for that. So, you can say, Tanaka san wa haha ni ude doke o kuremashita. Yoshida san wa chichi ni jitensha o katte kuremashita. Or fine. So, if I say, for example, Tanaka san wa miura san ni juman en o kuremashita, 
Here, if I use kureru, then it sounds like Miura here is one of my own people. Miura is someone who is very close to me. And I'm so grateful that Tanaka gave Miura the Jumaen. Maybe Miura is a very good friend of me and I really wish his happiness. And I'm glad if he's glad. Well, in this situation, I can say Tanaka-san or Miura-san ni nani-nani o kuremashita. Let's compare these two sentences. One sentence is Tanaka-san wa chichi ni printer o kuremashita. And Tanaka-san wa chichi ni printer o agemashita. What is the difference in between these two sentences? When I say Tanaka-san wa chichi ni printer o kuremashita, sounds like I'm grateful that Tanaka gave my dad a printer because my dad is one of my own people. But if I say Tanaka-san wa chichi ni printer o agemashita, it sounds like there is a distance between me and my dad. Maybe I don't care about my dad anymore. Maybe my dad is a bad dad and like I don't like him. I don't want to think about think of him as my family member. In this case, it sounds more natural to say Tanaka-san wa chichi ni printer o agemashita. You can also use it like this. For example, when your coworker received some snacks from customer. In this situation, I can say Okyaku-san ga douryou ni okashi o kuremashita. One possible situation is you, as a coworker of this person, you are glad that your coworker received something. And the other situation is because you are working at the same office as this coworker, so coworker by receiving the gift, you can also taste the snacks as well. Because in the office, your coworker give the snacks to every other people, and you also get the snack. Oh, I, I can get the snack as well. So your coworker receiving this gift is also a good thing for you. So in this situation, you can also say kuremashita here. When you want to request someone to do something, you can also use this verb kureru. How to do that? You can do that by saying te kuremasen ka or te kurenai. If I want to ask you to help me, I can say tetsudatte kuremasen ka. If I was speaking in impolite form, I can say tetsudatte kurenai. Because it is question sentence, it sounds more polite than just saying te kudasai. I can say tetsudatte kudasai. Or I can say tetsudatte kuremasen ka. Tetsudatte kuremasen ka is more polite because I'm asking you still. If I say te kudasai is please help me, this sentence is not asking you. So I don't care if you can help me or not. I'm just requesting you. Oh, please help me. It's not can you help me? Can you help me? I'm asking you. But tetsudatte kudasai is I'm not asking you. I'm just like saying, giving you some request. Please help me. So in Japanese, te kuremasen ka is more polite than saying te kudasai. すいません、この日本語の宿題ちょっとわからないところがあるんですけど、手伝ってくれませんか。すいません、この漢字の読み方がわからないんですけど、教えてくれませんか。先生、すいません、もっとゆっくり話してくれませんか。先生、すいません、
It sounds like I'm not humble. In Japanese, being humble is a way to be very polite. So especially when you talk politely, people usually don't use te ageru. So if I want to offer you some help, instead of saying te tsudatte ageru, I would say te tsudau yo or te tsudaimasu yo. If you want to be more polite, then you would use causative te kudasai. So te tsudau causative, te tsudawaseru and take form of causative tetsudawasete tetsudawasete kudasai it's like in english saying please let me help you tetsudawasete kudasai it sounds more polite so that's it for ageru and kureru in the next video i'm gonna talk about morau